Alright, so Don Paolo is not the murderer. So then, what killed Dr. Schrader? Was it really the evil box which kills everybody who opens it? And Professor Layton intends on opening the evil box which kills everybody who opens it. Okay, Professor Layton, I know you're a smart fellow, but that sounds like a really dumb idea to me. Alright, so Katia wants the Elysian box for some unknown purpose. Uh-oh. Somebody was kidnapped by the vampire? That's not good. Well, she's running to save the person who has just been attacked by the vampire. Alright everybody, let's go up to our room and open the Elysian box. Will Professor Layton and Luke die as soon as the box is opened? We're going to find out the answer to that question right now. Finally, the Elysian box. Indeed, Luke. So, we're going to open it, right? Uh oh. The box is empty, and we're still alive. All right, we're still alive. Then it would seem my theory was correct. And the box was empty the whole time? What do you mean, Professor? Why is the Professor not going to explain what's going on? Really, Professor Layton, you're not going to explain. Yes, the current Duke of Herzen is rumored to be a vampire. Oh, hey, it's Sammy. Sammy, how's it going? Yes, yes. He's very happy that he is not, uh, you know, being arrested for murder, thanks to the help of Professor Layton. So Mr. Beluga is also part of the Herzen family. So does that mean his brother is the crazy vampire? Well, it can't be his brother, because he's like 50 years old. Although vampires do live forever, so... Maybe he's still young after 50 years. Anyway, he's somehow related to the evil vampire. And thanks to Sammy, we can finally visit the museum. Do all of these characters have puzzles? Hold on a second. Does she have a puzzle? 
Are we just skipping over characters with puzzles? No, we're not. Okay. Good. We don't want to miss out on any puzzles. However, we do want to go as quickly as possible to the museum. I've been waiting a long time to get into this museum, and I can't wait to see what's inside. Okay, this guy has a puzzle. Puzzle number 107, The Knight's Tour 2. It's basically the same as the Knight's Tour, except instead of having a 4x4 board, you have a 6x6 board. Alright, so one way to get started on this puzzle is simply by going around in clockwise fashion. Alright, that seems to be working well. Ooh, what do I do here? Hmm. Let's hope I haven't made a horrible, horrible mistake. Alright, no horrible mistakes! Alright! This should do the trick. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Alright, so he has the exact same puzzle for us. What do we have now? Is it going to be an 8x8 board? Yeah, it's probably going to be 8x8. That's how they're going to change it. No, this is a 6x6 board. Wasn't the previous board a 6x6 board? I could be wrong. Maybe it was a 5x5 five five board, and I just didn't count correctly. Anyway, I'm going to try the same strategy. Stuck. Okay, let's try again. Alright, this is it. Oh, that's not it! Oh, I'm wrong again. Okay, one more try. This time, I'm going counterclockwise. Alright, this might be it. This might be the solution. Yes, that's the solution. Okay! 
I guess you have to go counterclockwise instead of clockwise. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Actually, scratch that. It's a 6x6 six six board, so it's identical whether or not you go clockwise or counterclockwise. But for some reason, I had more luck going counterclockwise. Alrighty, so that's it for the chess puzzle. In the next video, we will actually be going inside the Herzen Museum. Ooh, another secret? What's the secret? Everybody died? Oh, they didn't die, they just got sick.